Shark looks a lot like Natalie Portman. Oh, you ever see Black Swan? Oh man. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another DC Collectibles action figure review on the Batman the Animated Series. Batman, if you're trying to pick up your DC Collectibles, you can get them at Big, big, big. big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I'm very excited for this figure. This is definitely one of my favorite versions of Batman. I used to watch the Batman Animated Series cartoon all the time, and I remember the day it debuted, and I have all the DVDs, and I've been watching them. Actually, I'm missing the fourth DVD set, but I'll get it eventually. Anyway, uh, it says Batman the Animated Series, Batman number 13, DC Collectibles right over there, and then on the back you just see the Batman logo. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Batman out of the packaging, and I have to say I absolutely love this figure. I just think it is really, really cool. One of my all-time favorite figures as a kid was the original animated series Batman, not the one that had the weird purple armor or the weird blue and white camo, but just the regular version that looked like that. I'll show a comparison with that one later on. So whenever I see this one and I'm able to pose them around a lot more so than the original toy, I'm just very, very pleased. Every time I look at this, I'm just stoked. So for me, this just really hits the nostalgia spot big time. Anyway, it does come with a bunch of accessories, so let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the Batman. And a couple of pamphlets that come with this figure. You get the Batman animated series, the new Batman adventures written right over there, and you can see some other products. I already ordered this. This is in the mail on its way, and I probably will be getting the Mad Hatter. I don't know about the other ones here, and I passed on these two, but I do have the Riddler. Then there's an instructional booklet showing how to set up the stand right here, which I have right back there. And you can see we get these three images of the Batman figure. And it's just a clear stand. You can rotate right here at the top and then the clamps come together like so. And we also get three interchangeable hands over here along with a grapple gun and an extra interchangeable hand that holds the grapple gun already. So that's sculpted in there. So technically seven interchangeable hands. And then we also get the Batarang right over here. And not really sculpted or painted with crazy detail, you know, but it serves the job, you know. And then we get a pair of fisted hands right here. And then you get these two Batarang holding hands. And then you also get this regular item grabbing hand, I guess, or for the grapple gun, but I don't really see how this really works. So, oh, uh, I can just have him hold it like that if you like. I do have a little bit of paint chipping right here because you saw at the beginning of the video he was holding the battering like this. This is actually for one of these hands over here. So you're supposed to just have, and you can see there's some chipping right over there. But yeah, you're just supposed to put this towards the end of the finger like that. And then he holds it like so, so that's pretty good. And it stays in a little bit more securely like that. Let's see, yeah, there you go. You want to kind of wedge it in there. And he holds it, and it won't fall out. So I really don't have many complaints about this figure at all, but one thing I will say is I would have appreciated just a little bit of paint right there on the mouth. I do think the head sculpt came out great, though. I will say that. You can see his wicked underbite right there. It is tricky to see. Uh, the new Batman Adventures one does have the little paint right there on the mouth, so I appreciated that. So I would have appreciated that on this figure as well, but like I said, I still like the head sculpt, and I think the paint came out pretty clean. I like the flesh tone. Um, unfortunately, just from it being in the packaging, some of the paint does come off right over here on the cape. The Batman logo right there looks fantastic. That is super clean. I do wish this had an interchangeable cape like the new Batman Adventures version. That would have been kind of nice but oh well you know so those are really my three main complaints is that some of the paint came off right over here or it's actually just on this side right here so yeah, it's not even that bad there's no shadowing effect or anything on this figure and I do not miss that and I had this guy standing on the stand right there but anyway going back to this I think the musculature looks really good very accurate to the TV show I'm very happy that it's not the same exact sculpt as the other Batman that we'd recently gotten and this guy had fallen over and I don't know who caused that paint rub but yeah hopefully some rubbing alcohol will take that off but yeah going Going back to this guy, I'm really digging the sculpt a lot. It just has the likeness down from this version of Batman so well. Just looks really good. The utility belt looks great. Legs look pretty good over here. The boots look pretty solid. No peg holes right there underneath the feet though. The other Batman did have peg holes though, so I wish he had peg holes. So that's complaint number four. Oh my god, I keep thinking of things. That's just how I do though, you know. But looking at the cape, I really like these wrinkles right up here at the top, you know. Very bat-like, like having those little points right there. And I really like having the blue right there on the inside of the cape. And for articulation, his head can look up quite a bit, so you do get that looking up action, and his head can move down, you get side to side movement over here, and he does have some head pivot, which looks very nice. His shoulders can move outward quite a bit, so I like that. He can move forward, he bends once at the elbow, it doesn't quite meet 90 degrees though, and it does rotate side to side. The wrist moves side to side and they hinge up and down. He does have a waist swivel right there, he has a DCUC gaping crotch bits right there, he can kick forward some, it gets a little tricky, 
and it feels a little scary. You can't move more than that, really. And I did get a little bit of weird rubbing on this side right there, which is kind of tricky to see, but yeah. I can move up that much. Yeah, oh man, yeah, it does get scary. I do feel the friction in the knees, or in the hips anyway. And then he does bend at the knees 90 degrees. He doesn't have the rotation at the boot like the other Batman did. His angles do move down, they do move up, and he does have ankle pivot. So this Batman does fit into the six inch scale. You can see he's standing just a little under six and a half inches tall. And then here's our new animated series Batman figure compared to the original animated series Batman, which I've had this whole time. Wow, I had this since I was a kid, so what, 20 plus years I've had this figure. I've just really liked it and I really think this does a good job of updating this look especially with the blue on the cape and everything You can see the color of yellow is a bit different. This is a little bit more on the orange side Then here's Batman next to the DC collectibles Joker and then we have the animated series Robin as well And seeing these three is just awesome It looks like they just popped right out of the cartoon and then here's Batman next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown spider-man Oh, no way. It's Batman. Oh, dude. You gotta let me get your picture. Hold on a second. All right It's pretty bright over here. So I'm gonna decrease the shutter speed and hey where did you go? And then here's Batman holding his battering as he's supposed to with the correct hand. I really like this figure a lot, man. I do have my little complaints about it, but I think for the most part the figure does what it's set out to do, and it's to make those of us who grew up with the animated series very, very happy and stoked to have the figure. And I hope you guys are stoked about my review so much to the point where you hit the like button. And also please click any of these boxes over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, follow my Patreon account. And also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this this review. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. Then to compare this guy to some other Batmans, we have the Arkham Origins Batman, we have the Deep.